locked in the game. Trippin' this is easy, easy. Got him excited to meet me, meet me. I got talent, you got easy, see. It's the NFL on EA Sports. And featured this week is all-pro tight end Darren Waller. There are few better in the red zone as he comes in fourth and touchdown receptions. It's the Giants and the Rams. And it's coming up next on Madden Football. Well, it's an afternoon probably best suited for skating in Central Park, but we're across the river and we are in for a cold one at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford. Today, week 17 is upon us and we've got a good one in store here as it'll be the Los Angeles Rams taking on the New York Giants. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn on this final day of 2023, New Year's Eve. Folks are fine-tuning their resolutions, fitness clubs ready for that January boon. But these two teams have one more important piece of business to take care of. So here are the Giants ready to start their initial drive of the game. Hey! Throwing to start the drive. Lyles. Got a man open. It's Darren Waller. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A well executed 22 yard gain. Looking to throw. Lyles. And this one almost intercepted. Not a good throw there. Nearly an opening drive. INT. Here's second and 10. to throw again. Lyles rolling to his right. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. So, Charles, you know, for this offense, we've been talking all year about how difficult it would be to run the table. And you gave me your chances early in the year. You thought maybe 25 percent. A few weeks ago, you thought, touchdown, Giants! Darius Slayton, his 17th touchdown now on the season. And the Giants will jump on top of the game's first score here this afternoon. I'll let you do the analysis, partner, but with every touchdown pass his young quarterback throws and with the success that his team has had, I just continue to be more and more impressed. Let's both do the analysis. Impressed, aren't we both? Yeah. I mean, and why shouldn't we be? We've seen him improve throughout the year. We've seen him settle in now, and you can see the confidence of the team has grown. His confidence has grown. I think that everyone around this guy feels good about what they've seen, and it's also safe for him. His 2019 record for most yards in a season by a quarterback. No one has done it better across a 16 or 17 game schedule. Now they will be forever linked with the best runners to ever play at that position. So the line. 
line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Operating from the gun. Lyles flush to his right. That is caught downfield. It's Waller. Touchdown! Darren Waller. 48 yards. And the Giants are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Their quarterback leading this offense back out. He's thrown a couple of touchdown passes already in this first quarter and now looking for more as his guys begin first and ten. Throwing to start the drive. Lyles. Shoves him aside. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Big yards there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. And cue the applause, and there it is for him. The mark he's been aiming for all season long. 1,000 yards. Just the third quarterback to reach that milestone, joining Lamar Jackson and Michael Vick. That's a season's worth of work. And it so how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Back to throw. Lyles. They're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. So they saw the contact before the ball arrived. Penalty flag for pass interference. And trying to avoid yep. pass interference is so difficult. You're trying to slow down these skilled receivers, and somehow, some way, they make plays on the football, and sometimes you're there too soon. These are his numbers from last week's contest. Now you figure that he'll probably be a big factor in this one as well. No question about it, partner. We just saw right there. They want to get him the ball in space and see what he can do after the catch. Ball on the 27. Here's second down and eight. Looking to throw. Lyles flushed out right. And his throw here is incomplete. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Back to throw. Lyles eluding the pressure right. And that is caught. He's got it for a giant touchdown. Isaiah Hodgins. 27 yards, and the Giants take a three-touchdown lead. Charles, every time that he makes one of these plays, I, I think the front office, they get a bigger and bigger collective smile because they feel more confident that they have found their guy, their future at quarterback. And they should feel that way. It's obvious he's a big part of why they have such a good record this season. You're right about the bright future as well, and by association, a bright future for the franchise, too. Their quarterback in this offense heading back out to the field. He had the touchdown pass on the last drive, his third already in this first half. As he'll try again. Throwing to start the drive. Lyles escaping the pressure right. Catch made by Slayton. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. That's what we're used to seeing from him right there. Plays like that, why he's number four in the league in terms of receiving yardage. Able to make adjustments all along the way. Doesn't matter where he lines up, where he releases from. Working his way into the secondary figures out defenses and finds weak spots in order to get open. And good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Looking to throw. Lyles flush to his right. And Water taking it in over the middle. The result, only four yards there on the play, and it'll be second down. You talk about this Rams defense. 
But right now in the National Football League, they're ranked number 18 against the pass. And the easy thought process is that stopping the run is the least of their problems because they're facing the number one passing team in the NFL. But if they don't stop the run as well, then that just opens up the passing game even more. They've got to do both. Out to his left. A throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. I know he was trying to get the completion downfield, but the way this game has gone, with a few of the runs he's made along the way, he should have kept the ball and taken it with his feet downfield. That's the big play that shreds the defense. Instead, he thought to himself, I'm a quarterback. I've got to throw it. He bailed out the defense with that incompletion. That is certainly one way to frustrate a quarterback, run those extra defenders on the field, dime package. Here comes a field general leading his offense back out there for the next possession. So far, Charles, three first half touchdown passes. And that's how you generate excitement on a team. Keep your offense moving at a really high level. And it's also how you establish leadership by playing that well. Three touchdown passes, that's the way to lead. Now he's just open for number four. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Off play action, Lyles. A short one here, secured by the tight end, Waller. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 47. Back to throw, Lyles. That's complete. He's got Barkley out of the backfield. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. So the completion gets him just a yard, and it's second down. At the Rams, 46-yard line. He's got Slayton on the slam. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Rams' 34-yard line. Again, he'll drop to throw. Over the middle, caught by Bellinger. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. Completion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion wise way up, not that time. And he is caught. Touchdown, Giants. Bill Mason, his first touchdown on the year. And the Giants are able to add on to their first half lead. Out is their quarterback with this offense to take over once more. He's been. Throwing to start the drive. Lyles steps away to his left. Through an opening, and there he goes. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. No surprise to see him running again here. It's something he's done throughout this season. And that run puts him over 500 yards on the ground for the year. He's got to be thinking to himself, if I'm already at 500, what's to stop me from going for 1,000? Inside the 40. Well, now hang on here because Saquon Barkley is in some discomfort, so we're going to have a pause here for an injury. We're always unfortunate to see an injury, especially this close to the end of the regular season. We'll step aside. Looking to throw on second down. Lyles flushed out right. Oh, he's got some breathing room. Down the right sideline. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. A great effort there. 39 yards. And the 
Giants are able to widen their advantage. Week after week, Charles, when we see this offense operate, I don't know, they just seem to get more impressive. They certainly do, and let's face it, it's no surprise they're the best in the NFL in scoring. This team designs things well and executes even better. And here, it only takes a few snaps before they're in the end zone. That's how they demoralize teams. That's how they put them on notice. He has the four touchdown passes in last drive. He ran one. Throwing to start the drive. Lyles eluding the pressure right. Looking for Campbell downfield. And on the right end. Touchdown, New York. Harris Campbell, 75 yards. And the Giants will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Boy, Charles, this offense is just so explosive. They lead the league in score. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. Now the first half definitely went their way, and this would seem to be a great opportunity to kind of put this game a little closer out of reach with a score here. Yeah, and it's a wonderful opportunity for them because if they can add seven more to their lead, before the other guys even see the football, that could be the decisive blow in this game. I think that's how they're eyeing it. That's how they're approaching it. Carter, even I can figure out who deserves the lion's share of credit for their lead right now because he's been terrific in a dual threat role, really chewing up yardage and getting them points with his legs. Simply put, that defense has had no way of stopping him, and that's why his side is on top. On first and ten, Lyles escaping the pressure right. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. And you know what we just witnessed, partner? A new NFL record for single game rushing by a quarterback, breaking Colin Kaepernick's record of 181 yards set in the playoffs back in 2013. How about that field vision, athleticism that we've seen throughout this game? It's been nothing short of elite. On first down, Lyles flush to his right. That ball caught by Slayton. And yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? When they needed a play this year, he's certainly been the guy to deliver it. As this season has gone on, he's been awfully consistent and sometimes spectacular. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Let's go. Operating from the gun. Lyles flushed out right. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. A great play there. 32 yards. And the Giants have taken a five-touchdown lead. He continues to show at this level that he can not only pass for touchdowns, he can run for touchdowns. Not the first time we've seen this. He got the job done on the ground on their previous drive with a touchdown run. And he'll start a new... From deep in their own territory, they look to throw. And oh, that nearly their first pick of the game, but it falls down to the ground incomplete. Second and 10. Brings up second and 10. Looking to throw, Lyles. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on, it's third down. 
Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Dance into his left. Down the numbers. There he goes. And it was a stiff arm there that freed him enough to get the first before he's tackled. A big pick up there on the scramble. 52 yards. And this is a rarity in the NFL. A 100-yard game on the ground for a quarterback. Even as those passers get more athletic and mobile, we only see about five of these a season. It takes a special set of circumstances for it to happen. And, of course, a special player. So forget about being backed up. Here's a first and ten all the way across midfield. Back to throw. Lyles. Throw right side. Going to be caught by Waller. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And that'll bring up second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end. Made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. To throw on second down. Lyles. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. He's got his target. That's complete. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. And it appears we've got a member of the Rams shaken up on that last play. And not what you want to see this late in the season. Medical staff is going to check on him, and we'll step aside. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. They'll look to throw again. Being chased out left. And he will take it on in. For a giant touchdown. Taking it in from seven yards away. And the Giants go 98 yards and finish it off in the end zone. And this is a balancing act for a head coach with a rookie quarterback. You've got to walk a line with it. You don't want him getting happy feet, but you also don't want to rein in what worked for him in college. And here, he pulls it down, takes it himself, and takes it into the end zone. He's had quite the game running the football. Last time he finished in the end zone with his legs for the third time in this one. We'll see what they can do here as they start this drive first and ten. They go play action here on first down. That's out wide here for Robinson. Fighting through it, he's got space. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Let's go. Operating from the gun, Lyles. This one hauled in, and again, it's Robinson. Stiff on him. Yeah, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. A big play that time on the catch and run. 30 yards. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Sliding out of the pocket. And oh, that nearly the first pick of the game, but it falls down to the ground incomplete. It's been a fun game for him so far, but I think he tried to do just a little too much that time. Give the defense a rare win on that snap. He'll buy some time right. And that one complete to Hodgins. Touchdown! Isaiah Hodgins, his second touchdown of the game, 17th on the year. And the Giants get another third-quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. Well, on the other sideline right now, it's just absolute dejection. But, Charles, let's focus on the positive. With the lead that they built here... 
Now out comes their leader and the captain of this offense back onto the field. And nobody in the stadium feels better than he does right now. Just a slew of touchdown passes. He's been spectacular. And you and I both know this is a team game, one of the best team games that's out Right now, I've forgotten what the scoreboard even says. Just watching what he's doing. It's been fun. That's, that's, that's been mesmerizing and a whole lot of fun to watch. He's hoping to keep it going here in the third quarter. And this will be caught at the 30. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he gets all the way down inside the 20-yard line. Oh, yeah. So the big play nullified a legal forward pass. And maybe we know why they were able to get such a good chunk of yardage on that play. That pass was illegal. So the illegal forward pass also cost him a down, and now it's second and long. Operating from the gun. Lyles eluding the pressure right. And he'll be taken down, but they've got this one up to the 35-yard line. Able to find a lot of empty space there, picking up the first down at a 21-yard gain. Looking to throw. Lyles escaping the pressure right. Got a man. It's Darren Waller. Look at the big fella go. Touchdown, Giants. Darren Waller, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Giants have got it on cruise control. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors, but that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. And the Giants ready to come out now. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. Now they'll change things up. Play clock down to zero. And this is not the way to start a drive. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. time to his left shoves him aside and able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds he'll get eight on the scramble there it'll be second and a couple operating from the gun Lyles on the run he'll let this go deep right side well this is taken in it's complete now he's into the clear again. Touchdown, Giants! Isaiah Hodgins, 78 yards. And the Giants are closing in on that 16-0 record as they add on to their lead. He has really settled in throwing the football, and that touchdown here in the fourth quarter gives him a pretty comfortable cushion. He may be a rookie, but he's playing like fourth quarter? And the QB is easy. How about this guy? The possession switching back to the New York Giants. But they don't really need the points here, Charles, given what we're looking at. Yeah. And they'll run it. This is James Robinson. Taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one 28 yards on the ground. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 47. Now he'll try to run with this. And good work there in open space. And he's got this all the way down now to the 32. 16 more on that one and another. 
a first down. It looked like almost a miscommunication defensively because once he decided to keep it, he had pretty smooth sailing. Yeah, it became a question of, wait a minute, who's got the quarterback? And when you talk about miscommunication, it's supposed to be called assignment football on the defensive side of the ball. And the defense loses him. It's complete. And he's got it. Touchdown, Giants. Darius Slayton with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Giants continue to run up the score. They lead it big here in the fourth. Yet another touchdown in what has just been a high-scoring affair, a fun one to watch, and it's the rookie quarterback, Charles Cup. The New York set to take the field. They begin the drive with Robinson. There he goes, left side. Now he's free up the left sideline. Off to the races, inside the 20. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. James Robinson, his first rushing touchdown of the year. And the Giants just continue to roll. And that run massively increased his production in this game, and now he's over 100 yards. And break out your calculator, partner, because his yards per carry went up it's significantly, right? Big time jaunt all the way to the end zone. now as they get ready to take over here. CD, I mean, they have just been scoring at will. It's been score after score after score, and a lot of times we use the term. Let's go now. They'll start by run on the option to the right. He's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. A little do-it-yourself run right there and a nice game. And I like that he knew that that was about all he was going to get. So he did a nice job of protecting himself, took care of the football, took what the defense gave him. If they continue to allow him to do that, well, he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. He may go. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Another touchdown here in the fourth quarter. And, Charles, I think we can start to consider that this undefeated streak of theirs is going to be safe for another week. And, partner, you don't make it this far into a season without a loss unless you're getting contributions from both sides of the ball and sometimes even your special teams. And that's been true today, each side helping guide them to this late lead. New York set to take the field. Let's go. They'll start by run of the option to the right. There he goes again. He's on his way. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Well, business as usual for them. Well on their way to another victory. Riding a serious wave of momentum from what we've seen. And so far, they haven't met their match. So if you're going to play this team in the future, your mission is clear. You better be ready to play and match their firepower. the Giants and they just continue to roll right along really this has the looks of yeah. he 
He's going to keep this again. Oh, no time to pitch it, and down he goes. And it's in the end zone. That's going to be a safety. Well, this was a fun one today if you like points. A lot of them went on the board. Both offenses were clicking. Charles, these defenses, meanwhile, have a little something to clean up before their next contest. Yeah, neither end zone had a stop sign in it, did that? I mean, for both sides, visit it. And with frequency. Not fun to be a defensive player, but on the offensive side of the ball, those guys had a blast. One team came away with a victory. Even better for them. So for the Giants, they're a win away now from running the table here in the regular season. They moved to 16-0 on the year. I'm one of the first in the ice tub tonight, fellas. Too late, already full. Definitely need the music turned up. 